this is what you guys build up for all year. I mean, now that we're here, now that we're in the postseason, just just the excitement of it all. Yeah, no, definitely exciting. Um, you definitely talk about this all season long, but then you also really enjoy the season. Uh, we've had a lot of really cool moments. Winning the regular season was a goal. Really fun to be able to do that, you know, here um, against a really good team with Louisville. Winning the ACC tournament is about grittiness and being able to enjoy that part of it. So this is just another part to enjoy. Um, you know, you just want your season to keep going so you can uh, enjoy the squad, this team, the seniors, all that part. So, yeah, so a, a lot of things right now that uh, really excited. Oh. Go ahead. I was going to say, how proud are you were the way you guys competed at the ACC tournament? Yeah, I think uh, we hit a little bit of adversity in some calls and some situations. And so seeing our ability to be able to bounce back from that and like instantly bounce back from that and get after it, I think is a good characteristic. And it doesn't guarantee anything for this weekend. But looking back at last year and something we wanted to be better at was being able to adjust to adversity. And I think that was huge for us. This weekend, you obviously are worried about Maris first, but what do you make of UCF, South Carolina, what they bring to the regional as well? Yeah, um, something we'll talk about as a team meeting. We're not worrying about anyone. We are definitely doing us right now, you know? So I think when you look at the teams coming in here, this is a really tough regional. Uh, I'm not too excited about, um, you know, the awarding or not awarding of us in the, in the seating of the regional, but it is what it is, and we got to go get it. And I think South Carolina is a really good team. Uh, they're on an upswing right now. They had a great run in the SEC tournament. I think UCF is always a competitive team. They played a really good schedule. Um, and Maris swings it. And they swing it. They do a good job. They're gritty. So we have. it's going to be a tough regional this weekend. But we're about us right now and about one pitch. So if we can go out and just play um, with high intensity, effort, intention, all the things that we've been talking about all season, let the chips fall where they fall on Sunday, and I like our chances. So you're talking about you weren't too excited about the seeding. Do you think a little bit too much emphasis is put on the geography when they do those things? I have no idea. I'm not in the room. I think uh, seeding comes down to a lot of columns, and I think they have a lot of things they have to figure out with a puzzle piece. I'd imagine budget is one of them, and that's, you know, the, a thing that everyone can go to. So, you know, in my mind, I sit there and I can wrap things out, and you know, but you're not going to make everyone happy. You know, I can't do that daily here. <laughs> so I understand that. So, um, so, you know, you say your piece, get over it. The clock strikes midnight, and you, you move on. You compete. So, yeah. How much does pitching depth maybe help you, not just throughout the season, but ACC tournament? And yep. How much can it help you in a regional set? Yeah, pitching depth is huge. Uh, we've been trying to utilize all our arms so everyone's comfortable, um, not only as a pitcher in, in a lot of moments, but the defenders, you know, to know that who's running out here right now. I've played behind them, you know, all season long and, and comfortable with that part. Uh, Matchups are huge. Uh, you know, it's hot here in Tallahassee, so you can't rely on one arm the whole time. and. So I think that part, you know, for depth for us, you know, goes on both sides. Uh, all these teams utilize a lot of pitchers. So that, that's a, another part that this weekend has a lot of good arms, a lot of experienced arms. As you're deciding who you're throwing when, can you think big picture about what you're going to need later in the tournament, or is it focusing on just trying to win games? Um, I think it's a combination of both. Um, definitely focusing on trying to win the game. You can't move on if you don't win the game uh, in the way that uh, you want to ride it up. But also on the other side, like, you know, if we want to get to where we want to go, we got to utilize everyone we've been doing all season. So we've got to stick with what we've been doing, yeah. Coach, what have you been most impressed with about this team this season? Um, I, I think a lot of things. Um, it's taken us a while to really gel as a team. Uh, I think it was, like, late into the ACC um, regular season that we've really started to, to knock on the door of relying on each other and leaning into each other. So impressed with that part of it. Um, you know, I've just really been, uh, Kat Sandra Cox has been an amazing leader for the pitching staff and for the team. Um, she's been asked to do a lot of different things. And as a veteran pitcher, I think that uh, getting outside your comfort zone sometimes is really tough. And so uh, really proud of her. Um, you know, I think the consistency piece, Janai Kerr has been incredible. She's just been slowly climbing the mountain. Um, you know, I think of, we always talk about her and Hallie coming off their knee surgeries and the things that they've done right now. Um, they were our comeback players of the year uh, last night uh, when we did our awards. And so... Um, yeah, I think the grittiness is really starting to show up. Um, you know, we're a pretty chill team. You go in that team meeting, it's a very chill team. Um, but when you get out here and you start playing some softball, we saw that in Clemson, right? The grittiness, um, different ways to win, um, come from Heinz and Vautech, uh, Louisville. Like, so um, we've earned the stripes that we have right now that we're going to compete with. So how excited are you guys? I mean, I'm, you had an exciting season and a great run in the AC championship, but, but how exciting is this? This is very exciting, I would say. Um, you know, we've been waiting to come back to postseason all year, and we've learned a lot since last year. So um, we've been on a pretty good run, uh, finishing season strong, and um, but we've played a bunch of good teams throughout the season, which has helped us get ready for postseason. So we're excited. 
After the way last year concluded and the guy, the way you went about kind of learning from that, how have you applied that in getting prepared for this postseason? Yeah, so the first thing we did when we came back in fall last year was rewatch the Mississippi State game and just being able to learn, um, obviously a hard lesson to learn, but I mean, college softball has grown so much. There's no team you can take for granted. Um, doesn't matter what seed, what ranking they are. Um, and I think that was a hard lesson to learn, but I'm grateful that we have learned it. Um, and just coming into season this year, we tried to play Florida State softball instead of playing to the opponent. So um, no matter what was on their jersey, we were just trying to play our best game. And um, I feel like we've done a pretty good job of that this season and um, just excited to, to have another opportunity to host a regional. How difficult though was it to truly watch those games and, and then what, what, did, what did you take away from them? Yeah, it was definitely tough. I mean, uh, sitting at home, watching Super Regionals wasn't in my mind. Watching the World Series, obviously, um, would have loved to be there again. But I think it just helped me not take an opportunity for granted, um, you know, not to sweep anything under the rug, not to overlook any team, um, and just, you know, we're going to play our best game because everyone is going to bring their best game to us, um, especially in postseason when it's win or go home. So uh, definitely tough, but I'm excited to be here again and, and to get the job done. You guys played an insanely tough schedule and a lot of ranked opponents on the road. How did that prepare this team with a lot of returning players just kind of handle anything and everything that might come at you? Yeah, we've had a tough schedule. We've had a tough road schedule as well. I'm playing in some some really different environments and difficult environments, but I really do think it helps us to um, create a shared adversity and just learn from um, being in hard situations, how to band together, how to just keep it within our circle and play Florida State softball, whether we're in a tough environment um, on the road or playing a tough team at home. I think just being able to learn, um, you know, just being able to play Florida State softball and just just learn how to compete in those tough environments, I think has grown us so much and, and has um, made us ready for the postseason. t -Will does a great job with the schedule, and, and so we're very grateful. I know you're focused on Marist, but what are your thoughts when you look at the whole regional? Yeah, our regional is tough. I mean, all three teams are going to – it's going to be a dogfight, and I'm excited to, to have a tough regional. You know, I, I think that helps us play our best game. And so I think we're just trying to focus on executing and, and whoever we get um, throughout the weekend, just playing Florida State softball is the most important thing to remember. Um, not letting our foot off the gas, not taking anything for granted, and just seizing the opportunity. How cool was it how quickly the, the fans sold out the regional and, and, and just what's it like to play here in the postseason? Yeah, that was amazing. I mean, even with the, the new deck and the new premium seating, I mean, to see everything sell out in five minutes was crazy. And um, that makes me super excited and, and antsy to see all the fans get here. I mean, home field advantage is a thing. And so, um, you know, we've worked really hard to earn the three seed and be able to host a regional and, and hopefully host a super as well. So um, just being able to, to take that home field advantage and our crowd has been amazing all season. So it's going to be fun to play here at the Plex. Maybe playing that early game and then you get to scout the next game and kind of relax a bit? Yeah, they changed the schedule a little bit this year, so um, it'll be a little different for us playing the first game, but um, I think we're just all excited to, to get out and play and then um, obviously watching the South Carolina and UCF game as well is going to be a good game, so um, does help us to, to get some information on every team, but just trying to focus on the first game of Marist and then, and then go from there. So. Yeah, I'm done. I graduated. <laughs> Got my master's and done. <laughs> you guys have had a great season, but does it feel any different now this time of year? Uh, you know, I think we, we prepare ourselves all season long to play, you know, the best teams in the country, you know, to prepare ourselves for this very moment. To prepare ourselves for this very moment and these opportunities right now. Um, this is the most exciting time. So I don't know if things are different by any means because you know we're practicing the same stuff we're doing the same things like um, sticking to our approaches and everything like that um, it's just this is crunch time this is like what this is what we prepared every other game to do um, and we're excited we're ready to take on uh, take on Maris on Friday and give it our best shot so the experience of how last season ended and kind of confronting that after the fact what lessons were learned to apply for this year so I think it's very important the game doesn't know who's supposed to win, um, no matter what what the ranking says, no matter anything like that. So what our lessons was like the very first day when we got back, we watched the Mississippi State game over again, um, and that pain in the stomach. We don't want to feel that again of of losing. So taking every pitch by pitch, one pitch at a time. You know, never, you know, not staying in the game. Like all those lessons, like. You know, stay gritty all the time. Like it doesn't know who's supposed to win the game, and whoever puts their best effort that get that day is going to end up on top. You know, and we're focused on trying to win every inning, every could, pitch. Could you kind of feel that paying off, like in the Duke game and some of the other games this year, where 
you know, things weren't necessarily going your guys' way, but you battled through it? Yeah, for sure. We definitely, throughout the whole season, we um, got really more cohesive as a team. Um, and that's such amazing to feel and, and to see and to be a part of, um, especially going into playoffs now. So that Duke game, everyone was gritty. And that's what it's going to take uh, moving forward here on out. Um, take everybody on the team, our pitching, our defense, our hitting, you know, all of that's been unstoppable and un um, unbelievable. So just kind of playing together as a team and, you know, just if each one of us just, just does what we do best and do what we do, um, we're going to be good. You've mentioned everything that's happened this season, kind of building up to this point, getting you guys to this point in the season. What have you learned most about this team this year? One through nine, pinch hitting, anything like that. Um, everyone can get the job done. We have a paddle board um, and each after each game that we win, uh, someone who stood out that game puts the name on the on the paddle and you look at that list of all the names, um, everyone on the team probably did it at one point in time. So it literally takes everybody, you know, no matter what role you're in, um, someone has a big impact. And I think we are truly figuring that out or we figure that out as a team that like everyone's skill set, everyone's talents, everyone, um, what they bring really does um, make this team special and kind of put all the puzzle pieces together um, that way. And I think we are really finding that out to be really gritty. When you look at the, the field, I know you're focused on Marist, but what do you look when you see this field, what do you think of the competition? Oh, I think this, this weekend is going to be um, challenging, but it's going to be up for it. We're up for it, right? Um, like I said, we prepared ourselves for it. You know, all the teams come in here are really good teams. Um, you have to respect everyone in that other dugout. Um, they put the jersey on the same way we do. Like I said, the game doesn't know who's supposed to win. So uh, we do what we do. We each do what we need to do. And um, I think we'll come up on hopefully come up on top, right? Um, but definitely it's a, it's a good regional. We have a good regional, but we're excited for it. I know we're ready for it, so. Are you somewhat familiar with the USF players? I mean, I'm sure you played them back in the, sorry, the UCF players from when you were at USF. Mm -hmm. So I'm familiar with a few of them. So like, I remember playing against um, a few of the girls on the team that are still there, but I couldn't, it's been a couple of years, so their games probably differently as well, but I know that they always bring their best um, in stages like this too. So it's it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good weekend, um, competitive weekend. So we're ready for it.